into play. Bergen twisted round by Adams, and Adams is a good little scrapper. Is the Regina native? He takes a couple, and he's looking to give a couple here. Bergen, much bigger man, tries to rip off Adams' helmet, and these two will go. Adams trying some big bombs there with Bergen, who's turned Adams round. These two having a good old scrap on this near side board. Adams will just keep him in tight there, tied up a little bit here. Not fighting as much as he used to, Jared Adams, when he first came over. Good scrap, though. Bergen got a big lump right. stuff so we've got something to show you here that happened during the game it's a big fight it's Bergin in white and Campbell and it was a good old scrap both players connecting well Bergin just getting the better of it early doors Campbell though just doesn't give Campbell up throw the lefties eh? he does <laughs> and look at that they're all connecting there two very strong men two tough men and I wouldn't like to be in the middle of that, would you? All right, now, Nottingham sitting, as I mentioned, in the wings. Who are they going to want to face in the Challenge Cup final? They will want to face. For sure. Do the fans like Danny here? Paul, here's, it, yeah? here's Bernier and Bergen going to go at it. It's Bernier's first fight. Let's Bernier and Bergen. Bernier with the beard, wearing 55. Bergen in white. They eye each other up. Bernier's first fight for the Stingrays, first fight in the UK. Bergen leads with the left, Bernier comes across with the left, a right from Bergen. They grapple. Bernier tries to throw another right, it's lasted longer than Amir Khan's fight already. Bergen a right, a right, a right, a right. Bernier's struggling to find one, an arm pad's gone. Now a left from Bernier, and a big right from Bergen, and another right from Bergen, and they go to the ground. That's a good stand-up fight, good job. Bernier's been looking at his first fight. Bergen's a big tough guy, both drop the gloves square off, it's a good job, the Nottingham crowd's entertained, everybody's up on their feet, not a bad first minute for the Panthers, a fight and a goal, good job from Bernier sticking up for his teammates, that's what hockey's all about. I don't care what size you are, I don't care what weight you are, that's a tough job isn't it? It hurts your hands a lot when you fight a lot and uh, it's a good job by these two guys, Bernier throwing a couple of good lefts, Bergen hitting with a hard right there, it's a good fight. You've had a fair few scraps in your time, Paul. Does it hurt when you're actually doing it, or is the adrenaline... Well, it was a scoreless game after 60 minutes in Cardiff between the Devils and the Panthers, but we did have a little bit of entertainment. Big bad Brad Voth in the white top against Kevin Bergen in the black uniform of Nottingham. Fair play to Bergen. He sticks in there with the big fella. But it's Voth who has the size advantage, the weight advantage, the height advantage and the reach advantage. Bergen going for a few body shots. I'm no fighter, but I don't know if that would work on the big fella. Voth probably just getting this one on points. He's such a huge man. Where, where do you start to try and tackle the big fella? Linesman steps in. Only goal to report while he... Campbell throws the big elbow on Tony's. Referee Darnell doesn't give anything there. Well, Campbell, see if he lines up with some money. Campbell throws another elbow on Tony's. They had a fight in Newcastle. Tony says, later, son, later. Yeah, Bergen. Bergen, he didn't want to know Bergen. And then he tries to jump Bergen. And Bergen gets set. Bergen's at his most dangerous when he gets set. And Campbell tried to jump in to stop that. Bergen trying to punch the helmet off him. 
Team Frotch in the box next door going berserk at this one. Go on, Bergie's Berg. got the helmet off now. Campbell goes down. Bergie wins that good one. Good job, good job, Bergie. <laughs> and the boys next door here are getting pumped up. <laughs> <laughs> Team Frotch in the box next door. Really enjoyed that one. The brothers and everyone. They're doing well, doing well. But you knew that wasn't going to get going. You got the two guys in there. Well, you got four guys, four fighters on the bench. <laughs> Tracks giving it. Panthers have it again. It saved the race. David Clark, Peter Burrow, born lad. And he goes in and he clashes with Robinson and Stephenson. Oh. Unhappy with that. So here we go. Yes, they have a fight. The fight is broken out after that incident. When the Panthers player skated into the goalie, it's Kevin Bergen, and I'll be Stephish and I've done yeah. that. Bergen's taking the, the worst of that one, I think. He yeah. took some shots to the head there. And the linesman step in. Stephish and Bergen skate back. Stephish really didn't have an option there because Bishel Robinson took an almighty it's, mark. It's kicking off again down at the Kellen corner, I think. <laughs> They could at least do it centre ice while they yeah. Oh, hit from behind. MacGyver hits Bergen from behind, and Here now they're go. going for it. Do you want to go, says Kevin Bergen? MacGyver says yes. Kevin Bergen says, don't hit me from behind. And Bergen grabs all of him, pushes him to the boards. MacGyver punching him on the back. Bergen's got his uh, head tucked under his wing at the moment. The linesman get in. I don't think you see the last of that one. No, no. It's got him in a headlock. That's an appointment, isn't it? Yeah, That's oh yeah. That's an appointment for That's going to happen again. Bergie will not stand for that. He's explaining to the linesman why he couldn't get going and he pulled the shirt over his head straight away. He's got the tie down on. Solutions for accounting. If you're in trouble with your accounting systems, call Solutions for Accounting. The two goalies, neither of them ranked 1-2 coming into this season. And here we go, folks. It's Bergen and Carlisle Lewis right off the bat. It's not Nadir that fights Lewis first. We'll wait and see. They get a grip. The linesman will let them go. Bergen throws a right, but then Lewis hits with two rights and connects with two rights as well. Bergen over the top. Lewis with a right over the top. Lewis grabs. Will he go with the uppercut? No. Bergen comes back with a big right of his own and another big right before Lewis lands. They get back up again. If they want to go, linesman, get out of the way. Get out of the way. Oh, should have let him go. Get it out of the way. I know that's what a linesman's supposed to do, but the linesman should have just let it go and get that whole thing out of the way. Dave, once, well, you know what? You can't blame the linesman. Once they make a commitment to break up the fight, they have to do it. But you know what? Good toe-to-toe -to -toe scrap. Started down low on that face-off, and uh, two big guys going at it. I thought Kevin Bergen did a good job on Lewis. But do you know what Kevin and Bergen's at? He's a tough guy. And, uh, you know, you, he goes good toe-to-toe -to -toe with Lewis. Lewis has a couple. But do you know what? Bergen goes down here, and that, that's a man. Guy pops right back up on his skates and lays some back in on Lewis. He hits a good ride there. Lewis, I thought, had the better of the opening sequence. And no, 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 you can see Bergen saying. Yeah, Ber you know, but like I say, you can't. Uh, he had 48 to go in the first period. Chevry. On the face-off, and uh, here we go. I'll let you go on that one, Simon. Well, I mean, I think that's what it's all about. Bergen just got nailed by Jason Rushton. You know, Bergen, I think, wanted that more than Jason Rushton did. There's a bit of a, a difference in height between Rushton and uh, Bergen. And he, uh, the first punch absolutely floored him. Great punch. So think, tell me this rule about you have to have your, your shirt uh, There's a tag on the shirt at the back of it, uh, and the tag has to be down. If, it, if the shirt comes off, they get an extra two minutes for unsportsmanlike conduct or illegal equipment. Um, so, you know, but uh, it's, um, I think Mr. Bergen might think twice about trying to fight Jason Rushton again. They're having a bit of a, a discussion in the penalty box. It's not, maybe they're going to go, are they? Maybe they just drop the puck and let's go. Bergen want to try and get one back. Oh, let's have a look. Right there with Dan Tessier, I think we're going to go, Owen. We're going to go again. 
Well, they're setting it up at center ice. I'll it's let you carry on with the conversation. Well, I mean, he's a big, the two big lads. Jason Rudgen has done well so far this season when he's come into the games, but it's hard to say which way it's going to go. You know, the crowd are all on their feet here, and, and uh, it's, it brings a wee bit of excitement back into it. Hopefully it's not a mismatch. Bergen's got a couple of good rights in there. Russian's holding on, and you know he'll get a couple going here. He's got a strong left hand. Bergen's doing his best to try and get back at him from the, the first fight they had in the first period, but it certainly isn't over yet. You know, there, oh, there's a great right by Rushton. Bergen, oh, there's both of them down. Oh no, it's still going. Fair play to him. Fair play to him. Rushton, let him get back up. There's a lot of big punches thrown there. That's a, that, I mean, that could be a, a game changer. You know, the fair play to them to give it each other a pat in the back. That's what Warriors are all about, win. You know, that's what Warriors are all about. Fair play to Bergen, they took their lids off. You know, Bergen was wearing a, uh, the half visor. He took his lid off. Jason Rushton for his head off. Five on five, or five, it'll be five on five. They'll get five minutes each for it. And uh, you never know, there might be rounds. changes to the lineup as I said at the top of the show but there is one change from when they were here last time Steve Thornton's in the lineup in place of influential captain George Awada for the Giants yeah it's a, it's a big blow for the Giants uh, missing George and Stevie Thornton hasn't played a game for a long time and his first game back and I don't think his hands 100% so I don't think gonna, we're gonna see him a lot tonight well it doesn't look like a huge bench the Belfast Giants have got it's uh Fight time, Kevin Bergen and Sean McMorrow. He's had one scrap since he came here, the tough guy NHL. Up. And that was with Andrew Sharp, so that wasn't much of a fight. Now he's up against someone who can throw them, but Sean McMorrow is a proper NHL heavyweight. Bergen goes down a little bit, turns away from it, tries to get his hands free. Now Kevin's throwing them as well. Now McMorrow puts him down, Kevin gets back up. You know what, Rick? That wasn't quite 50-50, but Bergie did a job by standing up to the tough guy. I, I, I'm going to give Bergie all the credit in the world, man. That guy's a legitimate NHL heavyweight. Uh, he stood there. He took, he, took, he took his best shots, but he didn't go down. The tie is on the back of the shirt. Dean Smith's checking the ties on the back of Kevin Bergen's shirt because without one, there's an automatic penalty. If it comes off the torso without the opposition deliberately doing penalty behind the plate. Another fight coming with Kevin Bergen involved. Is that McMorrow again? I don't know. Yeah. I didn't know he was out in the ice. Next thing I know, he's got Bergy. Well, you see, the difference is McMorrow's fully rested. Bergen's been actually playing ice hockey since the last fight. Well, yeah, that's kind of McMorrow's fair. just been sitting waiting because he can't play. Well, I don't know. Let's, let's wish we had a replay, Gary. I want to see what happens. Well, Belfast is picking up the original penalty. Well, he must have gave him a two-hander and then jumped him. Well, he likes to fight, and he'd found someone that was willing to drop the gloves with him, so he oh, wanted another Well, you know what? I think, Berg, you're going to have a few more tonight. <laughs> I, th I think they've maybe he's made an appointment. You see, this is where I have... You know, let's see what he calls, because I was going to say I have little faith. Well, we got, we, well, well, let's wait before we carve yeah, him like, here. Like, let's, yeah, wait, right. let's wait. I'll carve him in a moment. He's gone. Oh, he's clapping. Give him the extra one for that. 
got to get a penalty for waving to the crowd. That's in the rule book as well. Gary, the fans love it. I know. <laughs> I know. see Bruce Richardson on the first face-off because the chances are he'll win possession and I like to see our team in possession from the start. The referee's Andy Carson. He was in charge down at, uh, oh, we got Bergen and McMorrow having a chat at the first face-off. They're nodding at each other. I think this could be a starter. Bergen's making room. Yeah, here we go, Gear. Yeah, he's already half-dropping the stick. As soon as the puck goes, sticks down. Andy Carson drops it and Bergen decides he's going to have a go with the man they call the Sheriff, Sean McMorrow. Fireworks to start Valentine's night. Yeah, I give Bergy a lot of credit. He's not a heavyweight. And right at home, he's going to go right up against, well, well I guess the heavyweight champ of the league. And Bergen's holding his own just for a bit. Oh, he's throwing the big one and he's still throwing them. Bergen hasn't gone down. McMorrow's finally got on top, but Bergen's still standing up to him and finally he goes down. But that wasn't as straightforward a win for McMorrow as he thought. That was a great job by Kevin Bergen. Great job by Bergen. You know what? That's what they need. They need him to stand up, stand up against the, the bully here. He went toe to toe with them. He took some, he gave some. It was a great fight. Now the Nottingham Panthers got to feed off that. Bruce Richardson goes into the box to congratulate Kevin Bergen. McMorrow's a true heavyweight, like Rick Strachan says. Bergie just does what he has to do to protect his team, and that's what he's done right there, right now. Oh, you know what? Now he's took, he's took McMorrow right out of the game. Okay, you've done what...